good evening everybody and welcome to another Beardad Reviews with me, Dave the Beardad. Today we are looking at another Founders beer. Um, I've done the KBS, the world's best beer, going to rate beer and I quite enjoyed that. So we're moving on to the All Day IPA, it's a 4.7 Session Ale, um, brewed for the US. And then on the back there is a lot of blurb. And that is mostly who imports it across the world. Australia, England, um, Sweden, Finland, uh, Spain, everywhere. And just various languages. Although there is, I can get 10 cents back on this if I go to America. So uh, this says there, 10 cents refund. Um, I've not had this before. Um, I'm looking forward to it because, like I said, the KBS was really good. I really enjoyed that. So hopefully this will bring something really decent to the table and I'll enjoy it. So here we go. Let's pop the top. Okie doke. As I say, I bought this in Asda um, a couple of weeks back. Now the Asda's um, craft beer selection has gone through the roof. Um, I don't know whether they've been, they've been obviously been listening to the uh, the punters who've asked for it, um, and the one by me has basically cleared out a shelf, a whole stack of shelves, and from top to bottom, four shelves high. It's different beers right across the board, and even the regular stuff that they have, like the four for six pound stuff, the likes of the uh, old empires and the Guinnesses and the um, Lancasters or the uh, the Holt stuff. The well-established beers are being shunted along a little bit, which is only a good thing because there's plenty of room in the market for more beers, I believe. Um, here we go. So look at this. It's a bit hazy. Now I've had it straight out the straight out the can, straight out the fridge. So there might be a bit of chill haze in there. We've got just about a finger of head, bright white, fairly compact bubbles, and the head's dissipating quite rapidly. Bit of bit of bubbly carbonation going on but putting it through the light again it's a lovely golden nearly amber sunset in a glass so let's get a nose to it and see what it's like I'm getting orange a little bit of citrus A bit of toffee into the IPA, so it's all going to send roughly the same. The oranges, there's lemons. That smells really good. Because you have this bit of sweet, sweet caramelly toffee malt in there. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Definitely citrus on that. Definitely a little bit of orange, um, yellow citrus fruit, some lemons, limes. A bit of tropical stuff, so there's a little bit of grape, a little bit of uh, grapefruit mango going on. Just a little bit of sweetness. Long bit of finish. Really, really nice. Mouth water made, made me want more. Um, but it is cold, as I say, so I was going to do what I usually do. Have a little go. Let this warm up a little bit, and I'll be back with you shortly. Give me about half an hour or so. I'll let me have my tea. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's good. Good so far. Very good so far. So I'll see you shortly. Right, I'm back. Been uh, take, gently taking this in. Um, can again. Um. I left this line on the side, about lying on the side of my chair, and my, my boy got hold of it. And he said, Dad, he said, that smells like Tropicana. So I said, what do you smell, mate? He said, I smell oranges. He says, I smell mangoes. He said, and I smell tropical fruits like you get in Tropicana. And he's not wrong. On the nose, it's just, it is just just orange and citrus fruit, and then there's a mango. It's definitely, there's, there's sweetness there, but then there's caramel as well. 
But other, other palettes, it's beautiful. So the far as only 4.7, so the, 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 the taste is really subtle. I am very easy to drink this. I can drink a lot of these quite quickly. I mean, I'm, I'm struggling, but I did the early video just to hold this back because I can neck this quite happily. Um, the body is really light. The carbonation isn't too bad. Um, I was reading a few reviews on this on Rapier, and someone said that the, the carbonation was quite vigorous, but it's not. Um, it's a good session IPA. 4.7 um, as I say on the palate it's really nice there's tropical fruit gives way to caramel but there's a nice little bitter finish a long lasting bitter finish this is really really good a little bit, a bit of lace there as well I, I'll say I bought this in Asda um, this was in the 4 for £6 pound range um, I've also noticed that they actually do there's an Asda in Bromber and the Wirral that do these in bottles. There's this stuff in bottles, a six pack. And I think it's about 550. It may be more, I may be wrong. But there's, there's a six pack of these. Uh, so that's interesting. There's bottles. So they, obviously, they know what the Asda's starting to pick their, get their shit together, shall we say. And Tesco, Sainsbury's and Morrison's, the other big three supermarkets, better start putting them. Even there, how we are because the, the as are pulling away as far as I'm concerned. I am so all day, founders all day IPA. Sorry, let's just get this boxed off. Founders all day IPA. Would I buy this again? Absolutely in a heartbeat. This is great. It's a good summer beer. Um, I look at reviews a bit of reviews of this on from my friends over in the states, um, and they say it's it's a yard beer. You can go out, do the yard work, come back, have a couple of these, go back out and finish doing the yard work, and not have to worry about falling into heavy any heavy machinery or losing a limb or a nose or anything like that. You can even probably fend off a bear having had a few of these. Um, I like this a lot. If you see it out there, pick it up, give it a go. If you've had it, please comment in the box below. Um, I'll put a link to the I'll put a link to the website. The usual places you'll find me. Um, I've got one new subscriber. That's John Stanhope. So. Thank you very much, John, for your subscription. Welcome aboard um, this crazy ride that is Beer Dad. Um, if there's anything you want me to, to, to look at, any particular style you want me to look at, please feel free to drop me a message and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, I've got plenty of there in the fridge and I've got plenty of access to plenty more in other places as well. So we'll see what we've got. Um, that's me done for today. Okay, so another one in the bag, another one in the box, another one done dusted. Thank you very much. So, hail the everybody. Hell yeah.